next number kita represent guna I. Okay, capital I. Okay, the formula is uh, Q1 over Q0 times 100. Okay, Q1 is quantity at specific time and Q0 is quantity at base time. So, dia nak compare ada uh, dua tahun dekat sini. Kita ada Q1 dengan Q0. So, dia nak tengok. Uh, so, from index number, it shows the change of a certain quantity. Okay, for a period of time. So, kita compare between the two times kat sini. Uh, one and not kat sini eh. So, Q0 kat bawah ni kita panggil dia as base here. Okay. So, nanti kita tengok detail apa benda itu sebenarnya index number. Okay. Um, other than uh, index number, we also has price index. Okay, price index actually is index number. But, this is specific on the price. Okay. So, the representation of price index is Ti, which the formula instead of Q, it use P eh. So, the formula is P1 over P0 times 100. So, what is P1? P1 actually is the price at specific time, while P0 is price at base time. Okay, let's look at these three comparison. Okay. Number one. Okay, we have actually, um, let's see, we have donut. We compare a donut. A donut in year 2018 is 40 cents. Well, price of the donut in year 2020 is 60 cents. Let's calculate the percentage of changes between the two years. Okay. So, to find the changes, we minus 60 cents and 40 cents, but we divide with the okay, original value, which is 40 cents. And then we times with 100%, so we got 50%. So, this is the percentage of changes. Okay. Well, let's use the formula of price index. Okay, price index of year 2020 based on year 2018 sebab kita nak compare between the two years. What happened to the price from 2018 to 2020? So, the formula is P20, okay, price at the specific time over P18, which this is the price at a base year, 2018, with times with 100. So, we get 60 cent over 40 cent times 100. So, the answer is 150. So, we see that the price is increased. Can price increase from 2018 to 2020? Okay, now. What about if the price of the of a donut in year 2018 is 60 cent, while price of the donut in year 2020 is 60 cent? Let's look at the formula of percentage of changes. Means we have 60 cent minus 60 cent divided by 60 cent times 100%. So, of course, you nampak eh, uh, the price ni sama je, 60 cents and 60 cents. So, nampak tak percent of change is 0, 0 percent kan? You nampak dia, dia unchanged. Okay, what happened to the price index? Okay, let's calculate the price index uh, for the year 2020 based on the year 2018. So, we, we use the same formula which the price of 2020 is on the top part and price of the 2018 on the bottom part. Okay, times with 100. So, we have 60 cent over 60 cent times 100. So, what do we get? Yes, we get 100. Meaning that if the value of price index is 100, the value is unchanged. Let's look at the third case. The price of the donut in year 2018 is 80 cent, while the price in 2020 is 60 cent. Let's calculate the percentage of changes. So, the changes is uh, for the final minus initial, so, for the final is 60 cent minus 80 cent divided by initial. Okay, so the initial is 80 cent times 100%. So, the changes is minus 25%. So, we know that the price of the donut will be reduced. Okay, from 2018 to 2020. Okay, tengok ni pun nampak kan. 2018 is 80 cent, 2020 is 60 cent. Nampak lah the price to the drop. So, let's calculate the price index. So, the price index of the year 2020 based on the year 2018 is the price of the donut in year 2020 divided by the price of the donut in 2018 times 100. Okay, so the price in 2020 is 60 cent. Okay, over with 80 cent times 100. So, let's guess. Yes, 75. So, we know that the price for the donut is decrease. Okay. So, can you relate the value of percentage of changes and the price index? The value of price index is 100, meaning there is no changes in the price. Okay? We will say that 
the price index is unchanged. Okay, the price index is unchanged. If the price index is greater than 100, for example, 150, so the base is 100, means 100 is unchanged. If the price index is 150, means the more 50 than 100, meaning that the percentage of changes is 50%, increased by 50%. So, kalau decrease, the decrease by 25%, you know that kalau 100 tu, dia punya reference is 100. Kalau dia more than 100, means the price is increased. Kalau dia less than 100, the price is decreased. So, kalau percentage of changes is increased by 50%, means price index will be 150. Kalau price index is 75, nampak tak dia less than 100. Maksudnya, berapa uh, the difference between 100 and 75? Yeah, the difference is 25%. The difference is 25, meaning that the percentage of changes is drop by 25%. Okay, boleh faham? So, ini relation between the price index and percentage of changes. Dan sebenarnya, index number ni kita nak represent uh, percentage lah sebenarnya. Cumanya, kita tak tulis persen tu. Uh, kita buat dalam perwakilan lain. This is actually the info. Index number is the ratio converted to percentage but percent sign is normally omitted. Uh, macam saya cerita telah, itulah sebenarnya. That's the relation between the percentage and price index.